Hi everybody. You know, I had an experience a while ago and I wanted to talk about it. I wanted to talk to you about it. Yesterday, yet another woman was killed violently by her partner. And as we grapple with the issue of domestic violence, I just wanted to touch on a few topics. You know, I've always said that the women are the backbone of the society. I see it, say it all the time. And that's why I ask women to take responsibility. Take responsibility. We have to preserve. We basically listen. We hold the key. You know? We hold the key. And we, un we need to understand how men are. And understand that they are flawed. Right? Them are flaws. We are all flawed, you know. But the type of flaws that men have, different. A quick experience I just had. I was in the bank and I saw a good friend of mine. That went to high school with me. I haven't seen him in years. And you know, he never looked good. And I asked him what happened to him. He looked so. He looked tired. He looked haggard. He looked like he go war. He looked like he's sick everything he want. And he, he tell me he's going through a separation. And you know, I could see the pain in his eyes. Now, I don't know what he did. I don't know what the wife did. I don't know the wife. I've never met her. But the bottom line is, he's in pain. You know? And sometimes it's easy for us to dismiss what men feel. The emotions that men experience. You know? And we have to understand that yes, women, we experience emotions. But men go through emotions too. And women are always better at managing emotions. I can tell you that. Women are better at manifesting emotions and we're better at managing emotions. And I'm not making excuses for men, you know, because no, they're not supposed to know by now, so me no make excuse for men. But the bottom line is, when people experience these things and men don't know how to manage what they're going through, they don't know how to process the pain that them go through. For a whole heap of time, God know, when me was going through my issues, only know say my head the chip whole heap of time. I'm telling her all the time, say me I lick down my ex-husband with, with one car. And I'm saying, men go through this plethora of emotions just like us. The, the only problem is that these emotions lead them to, vi to violence, which is obviously a terrible thing. And it's not just unique to Jamaica because all over the world we see where men, uh, there's an increased incidence of men killing women after domestic instances you know so we have to find a way to learn to diffuse the situation where men are concerned I don't know what we're gonna do but when I look at my friend a while ago and me see well I, I know that where he is now he's, he's not gonna be violent but the bottom line is He's, he's bright, he's educated, he understand. I'm hoping that he understands how to manage his emotions. But then again, two weeks ago, we had a situation where somebody in my profession, a physiotherapist, even though it said he's mentally unstable, and kill him wife, him stab her up. The bottom line is women. We are better at managing emotions. And I'm speaking specifically to the woman today now. We are better at managing emotions. We have to learn how to diffuse situations that are potentially volatile, that are potentially dangerous for us. You understand? We have to do it to preserve not only our lives, but the lives of our children. Especially when you are in a relationship with a man who is not the father of your children. Because it, men, I've seen situations where men kill their own children but more often than not the men who kill these children are not their fathers you understand I mean I go tell no woman say no there with no man because that is madness you understand the bottom line is we have to take some amount of responsibility in securing our own survival and that's what I want to say we have to take steps in securing our own survival we have to make sure say, our children are safe we have to make sure that everybody keep calm. I'm not saying don't let the man if the man is abusive or if the, this, the relationship just break down and you have to leave, you have to leave. 
But at the end of the day, remember, I said, I do a video where I said, leave him under sex. When you think it's a joke thing, don't. Listen to me. You cannot allow emotions to put you in a situation where you put your life in jeopardy. Especially if you are in an abusive relationship. He will kill you. He will kill you. Right? So take control, take charge of the situation and think. Right? Don't allow your emotions to control you. Just think about it. That's all I want to say today.